And so far, everything's been going good. I haven't been withdrawing. I haven't been puking. I haven't been shaking. So obviously, I haven't hit it too deep yet. Obviously, I haven't hit rock bottom yet. Gotta take my medication. As I'm supposed to every day. Bottoms up. Uh oh. One stayed in. And this one's a stomach pill, this one's an antidepressant, this one's an anti-anxiety, this one's a Xanax, and this one's for my nerves, for the pain. That sucks being sick, but as long as I do this on camera for somebody, I'm not going to say who, it doesn't matter. I make sure that I have documentation that I'm not doing it. I'm making sure I'm doing the right thing. And you know what, I got to do that for my kid. And that might be the only one I have to do it for. For real. So I got to get some puffing from Perkin more water, guys. Sorry, we're doing this out of them. Whatever. I'm just making sure you see me take them. That way, everybody knows that I'm sticking to the fold. And then I'll tell a few stories like we get an old. Let me get these down. Uh, I hate pills. They taste so bad. So now, we finished off with what we were at Pork Chop. We were leaving. We were just getting to the, uh, the acid trips and the ecstasy and the... the the buddy who uh, broke his arms backwards. Well, after that, the buddy broke his arms backwards, and I ended up going to jail a little while after. And then I ended up coming out. And then it was distribution, whatever. Weed was illegal. I was a teenager selling the pot. Figure. No, go figure. Duh. Every teenager does it. They buy, they buy an eighth and they break it down and they roll little pinners and they take them to high school and they try and make five bucks and they do it every day. Every day, every day, every day. And eventually their joints get fatter and better. And that's just how, how the game goes. So, anyway. I got locked up. I get out. I think, alright, we're going to get my little cousin Mark laid. <laughs> well, number one, I told him I'd, ta I'd take him out on the town. Now, we were on... Oh, oh, what were they? Blue Louis Vuittons. Blue Louis Vuitton raised pictures with a diamond in the middle of MDMA with a number in it. Green New York Yankees with the same diamond and number of MDMA. They were the Ferrari of, of ecstasy at the time. Like, 
at the time ecstasy was really big so you were getting for you were either buying the best of the best or you weren't buying nothing because you wouldn't want to waste your money like me I do I, I do the LSD uh, microdosing at once every six months maybe once every six I mean, sometimes every three months I have to do it just to keep my PTSD down because I can't stay in groups of people or anything. But I opened up my mind with it. And you know what that does? Do you have your my do you, do you guys have your third eye a third my third eye open? Have you ever gone and seen a shaman? Have you ever done anything out of the ordinary for a medicine? Other than to smoke weed, because that's like pretty ordinary these days. So, anyway, what they did was they took the, they, what they did, they had this toad. Okay? No, I'm not lying. They had this toad. And what they did, they squirted it onto, onto, uh, glass and it dried up and what they did was basically let it dry up and they scraped it up and they put it at the end of a burning piece of incense of sage and guess what kind of sage salvia divimorum <laughs> and they would they sit there and let it burn and they would burn you with it and you would get burnt four or five times and it would take you down man it would take you down you go into a real ayahuasca trip I mean right from the toad you're going way deeper than a flower will ever take you and trust me I saw my future I know why I know why I'm happy you know, I'm going to beat this cancer. I'm going to beat this cancer. I'm going to get Harley back. My kid's going to be with me by 13. And everything's going to be okay. Put that on my mom's. Anything. Now, shout out to my full. We got some we got some worries about Mr. Well, Mr. Zombie. He's gonna he's been a disappearance. We need him. Where is he? We also need Mr. Juggalo. Where is he? Juggalo bro. Whoop whoop! Where are you? Whoop whoop! Rule three Pacifico, where you at? Miss Blood, why don't you check in these days? It's like you uh, disappeared once I started getting fans. Like, right away. <laughs> That's not funny. That's rude. You know? Why'd you do that? You could have stuck around and been like a moderator. Or, I'd li I would like a moderator. Now, my, well, I was thinking my oldest sub sub. But I'm thinking we we put the general as a moderator along Mr. Savage. And I told you guys fucking ride me. What are you doing? You letting me slip. I made a bunch of videos and that's what you're gonna let me do? That's all? You ain't gonna let me fucking, you know, you ain't gonna make me do more? Come on. You guys put more effort into your jokes. Let's do this right. Come on, foe. Let's do it right. Let's get it going. Let's get a crack a lacking like a way like a West Cadillac in a black neighborhood. <laughs> That's the way it is around here. We don't have we don't have those kinda 
you know, mixed mix hoods. Canada, no. You get like three, four black people, and it will grow in a town full of white people. And they are very few far between. And they temper, they really do just work at the fast food restaurants and work at the gas stations. They do not work anywhere else. It's stupid. It's sad. It's racist still to the bone. And it's Trudeau. What do you expect? Look at his father, look at him. I swear on my mom's on that one. It's Trudeau. And my, also another view on COVID is Trudeau. He doesn't know if his mind, if waste falls from his elbow. He's trying to give me a Mickey, Mickey Mouse mask at the way little kid's hospital in the back of a cab because they don't, they have a different rule in Toronto and Hamilton. What are they talking about? Like, okay, we're going to take this really good mask that you were issued by your by, by, the, by the cab company. We're going to take that off your face and we're going to keep that. We're going to just throw it out. Fuck you. And uh, we're going to take the, uh, literally, this is what they did. And they grabbed these Mickey Mouse, blue, you know, fake. You know, doctor masks, you know, surgeon masks. They said that's their core, that's their mandatories. Why don't they leave you with my good mask? I have a low immune system, I have fucking cancer. Like, come on now. And no, I don't want anybody under 18 watching this. I don't care if it's not, it's not got everything in it. Yet still don't want kids doing learning anything, but do not do Trudeau. Don't do drugs. The only thing good left, guys, is the last thing that it, any any drug addict needs is weed. You don't need anything else. Methadone, weed, and you can beat it. I guarantee it. I'll be there for you. You can send me a heat it. If you guys need a shout out, I'll, I'll shout out your boys. If you need that, you need that extra push on a bad day, I'm there. Yo, I say a prayer every Sunday. I make a, I make a, a checkup every Tuesday. I look into the fold every Wednesday. Every Saturday is my joke around day. And every Sunday is my make a hundred videos, so. We really don't lack here. We're always making that video. Like, we're a couple years old, maybe. We got 500 videos. I mean, and in shorts, we probably got 500. Like, I do, I do long, I do short. I do great. I do small, I do big, I do long. Anyway, I'm sorry. I I, I need a puff of my cigarette. Damn me, cigarette, darn e-cigarettes. Pineapple Express flavor. Oh yeah, you gotta turn it on. <laughs> None by figure. 89 milligrams. It's good. But what's best is that supercharger that I bought it. That is definitely the best vaporizer pen for, you know, oils, vape oils, the, you know, how do you put them? You get a vaping product, you get a vape pen, you know, you want to do a vape, you want to do vape instead of smoking cigarettes, well, that's what I've been trying to do and it ain't working. 
I've been doing this one. It's been the Pineapple Express. It's been very helpful, but I still keep a pack of smokes around, so there's a problem, right? Also, I quit drinking because I'm drinking alone most of the time, and that's a big problem. I got real depressed because uh, Harley hurt me really bad. She said some really bad things that I really couldn't forgive her.